Since much of Wyoming's image has been portrayed through westerns and pulp fiction, what life is really like for the people of Wyoming has often been misunderstood by the rest of the country. You know, people who live in Wyoming, uh, they have a certain identity. They have a way they perceive Wyoming. And it's not always the same as what outsiders see when they come in. There is a small group of people who have made it their mission to tell the true stories of Wyoming. People who make time between baling hay and feeding livestock and fighting Wyoming winters to write about life in the cowboy state. Well I think one interesting fact to note is that Wyoming has more writers per capita than any other state in the United States. In 1984, rancher and teacher Nancy Curtis made her bid to help the people of Wyoming tell their own stories. After 17 years and numerous awards, including True West Magazine's Best Poetry Series and a Colorado Book Award, Nancy still continues to run her publishing house the Wyoming way, on the ranch. This was my, I grew up in this house and this was my bedroom when I was in high school. We could have predicted that I was going to have a press. <laughs> and when I say we have a ranch and a publishing company, well then they really laugh and some one guy told me that was the goofiest thing he'd heard since his sister was going to start a coffee shop massage parlor or something. Having a Wyoming-based publishing house not only allows Wyoming stories to reach more audiences, but allows for the publication of niche books and stories about Wyoming subjects for Wyoming audiences. For instance, one of the books we've published is a book about Steamboat, the bucking horse who's on the license tag and, and the University of Wyoming logo. And you know, a biography of a horse until we had sea biscuit <laughs> was was something that was going to be a hard sell. But in Wyoming, I, I recognized it as something that people really get passionate about. It's easy for those of us in the agricultural industry to, to feel close to her and, and comfortable with her when we do talk about our work. I think Nancy has done just a tremendous job in showing Wyoming writers to the country and actually internationally. Robert Rawpaw said uh, Wyoming literature was about trappers, traders, transients, and transplants. And so uh, at least some of the books about Wyoming need to be written from the insider point of view. Nancy Curtis, recipient of a 2010 Governor's Arts Award.